Hey gals, it's Fee. So, I've been a bit MIA lately. I, I don't think I've posted a video for a couple of weeks. Um, life has just kept me busy. And, uh, I don't know, I think it's a good thing, because here it is, it's the end of June. And if you've been watching my past, if you watched any of my past videos, you'll know that um, I was kind of anxious for the end of June. Because it will be the official jump back onto the TTC bandwagon for us. So, um, despite not wanting to, we did decide to abide by my doctor's suggestion and, and wait a full two months after my DNC, even though um, a lot of people only wait one month. I, I don't know if my doctor was just, uh, I don't know, extra paranoid or felt that I needed the extra emotional time. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but really, I think in retrospect, I think it was a good decision, probably for the latter reason. Um, so, here we are. Here we are. So, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and catch up on a few things that I intended on um, putting on here and just never got around to. Um, last month, for the purposes of just tracking, they wanted me to OPK and temp and all of that fun stuff. And... Uh, it all went well. It all went really well, actually. Um, but, you know, I've got to ask. I've got to ask this. Um, even last month, when I know we weren't uh, actually TTCing, it, it was driving me crazy. I, I mean, granted, all of us have um, to deal with, you know, the two-week wait between ovulation and finding out if you're pregnant or not. But, and that's bad enough. That, that's nerve-wracking and anxiety-ridden enough. And I find that there's like, what about the first two weeks? <laughs> I don't know. I call it ovulation anxiety. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with that. Um, I, I was trying to keep myself preoccupied for two weeks because I was paranoid that, I don't know, something was going to go wrong or, you know, my body wasn't going to get back on track after the DNC. It, it, you know, your mind starts to play tricks with you. So... I was testing, and, and you know, of course, because the PCOS, you're always wondering if, if it's going to be a good cycle, a bad cycle, a pointless cycle, you know, what the deal is, if you're going to ovulate, if you're not going to ovulate. Uh, so last month I started um, using the, I was using the cheapy strips last month, um, and I started that around cycle day 10, and you know, I've never had a problem with those particular strips, I've, I've used them before, and they, they've always worked for me. Um, and prior to all of my stuff going on earlier this year, I, I, a regular cycle for me would be I would start using these strips somewhere around day 10, and, and the test line would slowly fade in, slowly fade in, and, and eventually it would get pretty dark, and I'd just kind of have to guess which day was the darkest. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of used to that, so that doesn't bother me. But last month, last month, so I, I start testing on day 10, and it's, like, non-existent at that point, um, which is normal for me. I, I've never ovulated early. I've always ovulated late um, or on time, but, but never early. So around day 10, it was, like, practically non-existent. And I got to day 11, I got to day 12, I got to day 13, I got to day 14, nothing. Nothing. It's day 15. Nothing. So now, now of course, I'm, I, I'm paranoid, and again, I'm driving myself crazy trying to figure out what's going on here. Did, um, did, did, did uh, PCOS rear its ugly head this month, or, or what's the deal? Is there something wrong where I've got to go back to the doctor and adjust the medicine and, and, and go through all that fun stuff? So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm anxiety crazy at that point, right? And... Um, then the next day was day 16, and it was like, bam, there it was, out of nowhere. It went from, like, white to blue. It was like someone took a blue Sharpie marker and, like, marked the line on the strip, which was great. Don't get me wrong. I was happy about that, but I have never had that happen before, where it went from non-existent to, oh, my God, there it is. There, there, there was always a fade-in. This time there was no fade-in whatsoever. Um... So actually, I'm a little curious about that. Is that normal for anybody out there? 
because that's never happened to me before. I, I don't know if it's if it's good, if it's indifferent, if it matters, if you know, as long as the line gets there eventually, if that's the important parts. I'm um, just looking for a little feedback on that one. Um, and then the other thing I started noticing last month was, like I said, it was temping at the same time. Um, I, I've kind of always been, I don't know, a little um, OCD about temping. I use Fertility Friend on, on my iPhone. And I use a, a paper chart. I, I, I don't know why. Because I can, I guess. I, I, I don't know why. I know I really only need to do one, but I, I do both. It makes me feel good. Um, and the charts I use are from the bump. But I know that there's all kinds of charts all over the internet you can get. But the one thing I noticed is the paper charts, they don't seem to always work for me. Um, they don't go down as low as I need. My, my lowest temperature at the beginning of my cycle can be like 96.3. And then at the highest, it would be like 98.5. Maybe 98.8. I think I got that once before. So, I, I don't know. Is that abnormal to have that large of a fluctuation? Or, or at least that low of a fluctuation point, the 96.3? Because, like, the paper charts that I have, I think the lowest they go is 96.9. Um, I don't know. Maybe the ones from the bump just aren't good. But I know a lot of people use those. So I, I'm looking for some feedback on that, if that's normal, if it's good to have that big of a fluctuation. Um, I mean, obviously, Fertility Friend, the app doesn't care. You can put in, you know, whatever you want, as long as it, it sees it as remotely close to the normal range, you're good. Um, so that's what I've got. And now we're to this month. So here we are. Here we are. And uh, this is the first cycle that counts for us. I'm a little excited. I'm trying not to have ovulation anxiety. This is the week that I should be ovulating. Um, fertility friend is saying day 16 because it did happen a little bit late last month. So I'm assuming that's why it's saying day 16. Um, in the past, it's always been right at day 14, maybe 15 for me. Um, day 14 would be Thursday. Uh, according to Fertility Friend, day 16 would be Saturday. Um, so our plan is to baby dance every other day. Uh, we started Sunday, which is, is a little early, but we just want to cover our bases and, you know, have fun at the same time. <laughs> um, so every other day, starting Sunday... And probably it, through Monday for the purposes of, of baby making. Um, anything past that is a bonus. <laughs> uh, um, I am using I'm using the clear blue digital tests. I'm using these this month. And you know what? I'm really liking these. I really am. Um, I don't know if anybody uses these, but if you look on the side of the box, not only does it do your LH, it also um, detects your estrogen, and according to this chart, if you look like right there, your your estrogen should slowly start to kick in a little quicker than the LH. So these can give you four days of a positive OPK high and peak. So I really like those. Not to say there's anything wrong with the cheaper strips. I've used those before too. Um, the one thing I thought was interesting is when you take, this is the little, oh, the little stick you put into the digital reader. When you take it out, the lines look exactly like the cheapy strips, only they're so much easier to read. And, and I don't know, without getting too gross and disgusting, but this part, the part that you actually have to go on unless you're dipping it in a cup, which I do sometimes also, it's, it's wider, so it's easier to use. Um, so right now, I am on cycle day 12. And I did three of these. I started at cycle day 10. Cycle day 10, I got a big fat negative with uh, uh, 
the circle. This particular touch just gives you a circle and then you pull it out and you can see the, the lines and, and obviously there's like nothing there. Then on cycle day 11 and 12 today I did get the high sign, not the peak, so I'm assuming it's detecting my estrogen going up, but my LH has not gone up yet and my temperature has not spiked. I'm, I'm kind of expecting that according to these tests either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, so this is 11 and 12 and the line's slowly starting to come in there, but there's really not much of anything going on yet. Um, but that I, really doesn't worry me because last month it went from nothingness to a solid blue sharpie line. So maybe that's what will happen again this month. I, I actually have the strips from last month that I meant to put up here. But hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I have three of them here. So this one, that's what I was getting like day 11, 12, 13, 14, there 15. There was like nothing there, right? So here, here, here's the control and here's the test. And, and there's, there's a little something there, but that's definitely not a positive. Um, then the next, on day 16, I tested in the morning and at night. I'm going to try to put these together, see how talented I am. Try and hold them together. And that's what happened. So... Obviously, those bottom two, especially the bottom one, that's like definitely positive for me. Um, but you can tell with the top one, there's like nothing there, and it goes to wow, wow. I'll go with that. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that's what will happen again this month, since the digital test is detecting my estrogen, and it's giving the high sign the flashing smiley face. That one. I'm getting that one today and yesterday. So hopefully I will get the peak tomorrow or Thursday or both. And when I pull the little stick out of the tester, I'll hopefully have two very solid dark lines and that will make me happy. So, right now I'm not worried. Like I said, it does. It seems a little early for me for that to even be starting to say, Hi, I wouldn't have expected the flashing smiley until, I don't know, tonight, tomorrow. I got the flashing smiley earlier today. So, so, fingers are crossed, toes are crossed, everything's crossed. <laughs> Hopefully everything works well. I've got, I've got good feelings about this month. Um, I don't know, maybe be hap maybe perhaps because this, this month counts and I feel like we're actually accomplishing something again. I don't know, or, or maybe perhaps it's a bit more than that. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe my new motto and my, my positivity or maybe I'm starting to actually get that through to my thick skull. I don't know, <laughs> but I am trying to stay positive nonetheless. And uh, that's all I've got for now. Um, I think I, I yammered here enough for right now. <laughs> so if you're still with me, thank you for, for listening to me yammer. And um, that's all I've got for now. And remember, expect a miracle because I am. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.